Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can use GCR SQL2 in backend code. So this tutorial is going to be a complete demo. So I will be writing a service and inside that service, I will be writing a method which actually explain how you can use GCR SQL2 and then I will call that service in servlet. This will be a path type servlet and I'll show you the response in browser. Basically, I'll not write a new service. This is the service I did use for query builder related demo as well. So I'll write a new method and I'll show you the demo part. Okay, so this is basically my method which actually accept the path from where I will search. I'm just keeping only path as a dynamic. I, I will give this for, as a query parameter. So this is the implementation. Let's understand how you can use GCR SQL 2. So first you have to create a query. Query is uh, like you can create as a string and whatever the dynamic parameters or dynamic value you can add, you can add, right? Here I'm just adding a path as a dynamic, okay? So you need a session there. So I'm getting that session from the resource resolver and resource resolver from a service user, which I have already explained multiple times how you can use a service user and how you can get a resource resolver from it. Once you have session, from session, you will be getting a workspace and from the workspace, you will be getting a query manager. From query manager, you can create a query. So this method is important here, okay? First parameter is the query you created, SQL2 query, and second is a constant, string constant, which define what kind of query it is. So it is a SQL2, so I will be adding a fully path, means this is the JCR query, query dot, this is the constant, and if you see here, the value is JCR hyphen SQL2. Important point here is, this is a JVX JCR query. This is the query class or the query object but the query class we use for query builder that is a cq search query so this is the one difference you must understand this okay if you use query builder you have to use cq dot search dot query and in case of sql2 you have to use jvx query right so that's why i'm adding the fully full path means full package here also so this method create query will give you a query right once you have this query you can execute a method for this query there is a method available execute right once you execute this you will get a query result here once you get the query result you can get nodes basically this result means the query result has four methods so out of the four method, this method get nodes will return a iterator, node iterator. Basically, it will return all the nodes in form of iterator. Now you can iterate that iterator as well. This is the simple thing Java, uh, you know, uh, I used a while loop and the from the page means that uh, this node iterator, the object is page. I'm just checking has next and if it is next, I'm getting the next. So basically this next node will return a node jvx node okay so you must understand this node is a gcr content node so I'm, I'm getting this page content if you see in query and this node is means page content or page the information is stored in gcr content so this node is a gcr content node now you can get that node contain all the information now you have node and you can play around it either you can get the page from this node or you can get the properties whatever so what i'm doing here just to show you i'm getting the properties I mean, i'm getting title name is basically the name of the node and i'm uh, getting the created date means when it was created so what i'm doing i'm creating a object this is pretty straightforward right just to show the information at the browser so i'm creating a json object and a json array and inside this while loop for each information means for each page i'm creating a json object and i'm putting this information there and then i'm putting that information to means that each object in array and finally that array in the outer gcr uh, json object right with the name of page and i'm returning this fine so this is my servlet. If you see, this is the old code, means the code I used for query builder related demo. So I'll add a comment here so that you can understand. 
for just for the time being I just commented out here so what I'm doing here I'm just getting a prop, uh, query parameter like search path I'll pass this from the browser and I'm getting it and I'm passing it so whatever the path I will pass it will give all the child pages of that with that information so let's just save it and let's deploy this code okay so deployment is done now let's go to the browser so this is my path if you see search uh, geek search uh, I mentioned the path in my servlet so if you don't know how to write a servlet there is a detailed tutorials available there please go back and check and uh, search path is a query parameter and I'm passing a value like search path is am geek so if I hit that so you see the information what I added is return so this is the parent object name pages which I added here here and rest of each information uh, each object each information what I added for each node means each page so you can see here now and even it say see it's a ascending order because I mentioned in query it should be in ascending order see order by title now so let's say it has well, 85 pages starting from zero because okay now let's say I want the pages from US site only so you see now it has been changed now selection is or search is happening based on what you pass to backend code it has only 25 pages and if I search only for Indian site you see it has only 12 pages so basically whatever you pass here it is being it is added in this query okay and based on that query this GCR is equal to query functioning and it is giving the result so in whole this code these two are important lines as part of you know for GCR is equal to rest of the things are pretty common uh, I have already explained multiple times okay so i hope you understood this how you can use jcsql2 in backend if you have any question please do comment thank you